kids, it's Chris Saucedo with another Mac Tip of the Week. And this week's Mac Tip deals with Safari. And as a side note, yeah, I got a haircut. Uh, anyway, since we're talking about Safari, I thought we'd talk about tabbed browsing within Safari and some cool little shortcuts for that. So uh, it should be really fast. So uh, let's get started right away. And as you can see from the distance, this is my desktop. And the first thing I'm going to do is open Safari. So there we go. And it automatically opens it to my homepage, Google. So the first thing that we I actually want to do is show you where your tabbed browsing settings are. So right here, if we go up to Safari, we can go to Preferences, and then the tabs right here. So this will actually show you what you have enabled and what you have uh, disabled. All right. So I do have enabled the first and the third selection, which says that you can command click to open a link in a new tab, and also that I want to be confirmed when I'm closing multiple pages. Uh, I just think those are the two most useful. All right, so now on to the tips. If you want to create a new bookmark and say you want to store it in this wonderful bookmark bar here, that's exactly what this is, the bookmark bar, all you need to do is hit command D and it'll ask you if you want to create a bookmark. Say yes, and it'll ask you where you want to store it, and I do want to store it in the bookmark bar, so I'm going to hit Add. All right, now, as you can see right here in the corner, I have a Google in my bookmark bar. All right, now, if you want to open a page like that in a new tab, all you need to do is hit Command and then click on it. Now, that is really hard for me to do with one hand, so I'm just going to uh, hope that you take my word for that. Uh, but another cool way to create a uh, new tab is to hit Command T. Command T automatically opens a new tab for you, an unentitled new tab, and you can type in whatever you want, or click on another page and it'll automatically open that. Now, if you want to reorder what you have in your bookmark bar, all you need to do is just drag it around. And as you can see, it moves. So you can just drag it. And if you want to get rid of it, just drag it off screen and poof, it disappears. Um, something that you might not know is that based on what order you have your bookmark bar in, these different little links, you can actually open them instantaneously. So for example, I have Apple as my first link here. So if I hit Command-1, since that's the first link, it'll automatically open that for me, the Apple homepage. Now, if I want to open Wikipedia, which is my second link in my bookmark bar, all I do is hit Command 2, and it automatically opens Wikipedia. And you can do that for 1 through 9. So I can also hit Command 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, based on uh, just the first nine instances I have in my bookmark bar. Um, and that's basically it. So uh, for the Mac Tip of the Week, that's all. All right? See you guys next week.